So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, WordPress website on DigitalOcean, which is uh, a very powerful server. You have uh, the full control on your droplets or your servers. So the first thing you need to do is create a digital account. It's very easy to create. You will need to uh, add your payment method at first, but they will not uh, any money from your card until the end of the month and based on what you have uh, consumed. All right. The set, second thing we go, we're going to need is Cloudflare, which is a very popular uh, network manager that helps you connect between your domain and your servers, uh, add more security rules, add more caching rules, etc. So basically, I always use uh, Cloudflare for any connection between uh, my domains and my servers and my apps, etc. So let's get started. First thing is how you, you can connect your domain with Cloudflare. You just go to Cloudflare after you create an account, you will see a dashboard like this. Click add a domain, add your domain here. I will add this one, for example. Um, yes, you can just keep this option always. It's recommended. All right, perfect. So in Cloudflare, there is three paid plans, but there is always the free plan, which is more than enough for you. And now they will give us uh, some name servers we have to copy and put in our domain name provider. Okay, so yeah, we see our old records. We will update this later, but anyway, we have to click continue to activate. All right, that's our name servers. Click copy the first one. You have to go. Uh, if you are using Nameship, it will be easier. If you are using another hosting, it's, it's super basic. You just go to the name server area and change your name servers to the Cloudflare name servers. I will put custom DNS and uh, put the first one. Here is the second one. And that's all. You just have to wait a couple of minutes. By my experience between Nameship and Cloudflare, it doesn't take more than 30 minutes. But in some cases, they say it could take up to two days. So now after you create your digital account, uh, you will see a dashboard like this. You go to create and you hit droplets. It's like a meaning off of very small servers, which you can use separately for each website. Also, you can host many websites on the same droplets. It's basically your own server. And the best thing is you scale as you go. So you can start as low as $7 or $6 per month. So you basically just go on how much performance and uh, storage you need. So for this video, let's try the $4 per month or the $6. Pretty much the same for a WordPress website, unless you need something bigger. But the best part is you can always upgrade your droplets as you go. So if you choose $4 per month, you will be charged only $4 per month. So there is no extra fees or anything like this. So let's try the first option. But yeah, the first thing you have to do is you choose the data center. In my uh, case, I will use London. It's the closest place to my audience, but you can choose any data center close to your audience or where people are visiting your website. So yeah, after choosing the data center, you will go to the marketplace. We have the option to use any operation system, but we will use a ready version that is friendly with WordPress and it's easy to use. So we don't have to bother with configuring the server. So you will see there is two options here. There is the WordPress, which is the like the basic version. And we see the Opalite speed, which is another image for WordPress for the same thing, but with light speed. Uh, for me, using the Opalite speed, it's much easier and uh, less steps, less details and less configuration. And it really has more speed than the normal setup. Okay, so we'll use the Opalite speed. If you see in this example, I guess after I have chosen data center, it showed me that I am only eligible for the $6 per month. Okay, next step, you choose a strong password, which must be eight characters, and one uppercase, one number, and it cannot end with a special character. Okay, let's do something like YouTube. Make sure just to save this password in a safe place. All right, now you can name your droplet. Let's make it YouTube website and let's hit create droplet now as you see the droplet is being created so the droplets now is live now we have the ip address as you see that's our server ip address and that's the ip address we will use to point our domain on 
Okay, so let's check back the Cloudflare and see if it's fully connected with our domain name. Okay, it's fully activated and it's less than 10 minutes when I have made the first uh, connection. All right, perfect. So what we're gonna do now is to go to DNS. Then we will go to the first A record, which is the very important one. And we will edit this IP address and put the new one. So now we are done with Cloudflare, the domain is ready. And now let's go back to the droplet. Now, after you connect your uh, domain, the IP, everything is ready. Let's configure the droplet. It's uh, very easy to be honest. Just go to access console. So don't freak out, nothing hard, nothing <laughs> coding or anything like this. It's just a couple of prompts, couple of answer, and uh, the server should be ready. So let's launch the Droplet console. So it will ask you about what is the domain name that you are trying to use for this WordPress website. So let's do, all right. The domain you put is, please verify. Do you wish to issue a Let's Encrypt certificate for this domain? I recommend to not use the, the Let's Encrypt certificate if you are already using Cloudflare because Cloudflare also offer you the HTTPS uh, rules and the security rules and all of uh, things like this, especially also if you have like uh, a basic certificate on your domain name provider. So I will go with no. Do you want to update the server? Yes, no harm. Let's update the server. Okay, perfect. Now the WordPress website is ready to go. So you can close this the console and go to your domain name and see if you have the website ready. Okay, now the connection is, is good. The HTTPS is working. What you have to do now is configure your WordPress and you are ready to go. So I will choose English, continue. I will give my website a name or a title. Let's say an amazing website for education. Perfect. Use a username, a password, definitely. That you're gonna remember because if you don't, you have to resist again. All right, copy, keep it in your hand and move to okay you can provide your email and click install wordpress now you have to log in with the same credentials you have and that's it guys now you have a wordpress website on digital ocean with a private server very powerful able to scale as you want and for just six dollar per month isn't it great yeah definitely so yeah go ahead activate the plugins choose your theme and happy vlog